weaknesses have been observed in the implementation process of the Procurement Act by ministries, departments and agencies of the federal government. Well, these findings were revealed by the House Committee on Procurement during the budget defense of the Bureau for Public Procurement. Chairman of the committee, Jumoke Okoya Thomas, uh, said that audit reports received by the House must be thoroughly looked into. Speaking afterwards, Director General of the BPP said that the Bureau is set to work with the legislature to ensure good governance practice. No procurement capacity on the NDAs considering the investment in capacity building for the last six years, poor record keeping by the NDAs, poor procurement planning, no usage of procurement tools such as standard bidding documents, contract splitting. I know the um, DG will be facing, or let me say the Borough will be facing quite a lot, or a lot of challenges that we are facing ourselves when we invite some of these NDAs. Um, I suppose we have to synergize our efforts in making sure that, uh, or ensuring that um, the Public Procurement Act is fully implemented. All the, virtually 99% of all the projects that came to us for certificate of no objections were granted. And arising from that review, we had a savings of 95.7 billion naira for 2013. Everybody here in the National Assembly and the executive arm is committed to one thing, good governance. And public expenditure through uh, is key to good governance. And that's why the framers of the law, in attempts to bring the best global practice, has provided that BPP as a regulatory authority must, from time to time, go and check the books of the people who are doing procurement. Like the way CBN will go to banks to look at their books.